Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. We're waiting for... <laughs> you got a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Don't shoot. Nothing to fear. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen? Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and... Excellent. Fine shooting. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? No, nope, my sweet. Prep school or going to the seminary. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh. Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right, yikes! Mm. I'm fine. Mm. Come on! Ooh, look! There, I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again, right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry. 
sorry, sir. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My Fair enough, gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Let's get you back. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. You see, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk sap. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck! Crazy bastard. Oh my lord! The fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Come on. Let's go try and find them. We've been. You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You're an earth shaker. World conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! 
<sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without mm, me. Probably not. Well, you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. <sighs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew. With positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's usually the way it works. Good luck. <laughs>